Hello, hello, everybody. It's Girl Got Game, and welcome to Saint Maker, the latest game from Yang Yang Mobile, who you may recognize as the developers of The Letter, which I just got done playing not too long ago. So to say I have high expectations for this is an understatement, but I'm excited, even though it's another horror game. <laughs> but from what I understand, this is potentially a little less scary than the letter. I don't think there's any QTEs, so I'm relieved to hear that. Don't have any of that to worry about this time for myself. Um, but it's more like a religious horror. I think we're in a convent. And the little bit I saw in the trailer, it looks like we got a weeping angel situation going on with moving statues, so... I mean, that's scary enough for me. When I first saw that Doctor Who episode, I was traumatized for like a couple days. So, you know, I'm ready to relive that. <laughs> um, but that's basically all I know. I'm going in blind to, to this, so let's just jump in, see what characters we got. Um, one other thing I should mention is this is nowhere near as much in the way of branching choices as the letter was. So this is probably going to be a one and done, unless I miss something major that I need to go and experience but as far as i know it's just a linear story for the most part and yeah there you go that's all i gotta say let's jump in oh that's a good sign yeah very good sign just some blood somewhere in the oh. forest is a stream great we got beautiful voice acting again too maybe a flower bed and a grove full of old trees like the ones in storybooks Fairies darting in and out of knot holes. Focus, Holly. Oh, you're cute. Get your head out of the clouds. I'm not here for that. This isn't some storybook. Fairies, they aren't real. It's like what Mom always said. There are only angels and demons. Loving the animated backgrounds again. Hello, birds. Are you a little more reasonable this time? I hope so. So this is the place. Huh. Doors open. Hello? Excuse me, is anyone here? That door needs some oil. Maybe the whole thing got canceled. That'd be nice. I'll have the whole place to myself. Heh. <laughs> All the mysterious adventures I could get into, alone in an abandoned convent. No parents, no adults, just me. And that's when I went back out the door and started walking back through the forest. Is that? Hmm? Oh, that must be them. Well, so much for that fantasy. It was nice while it lasted. Man, they sure do like their statues here, though. It's coming from further in. Hello! Oh! Our first CG. Can I? Out of curiosity. Nope, that's not how that works. Uh. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Wanted to take a closer look at this. Are those actual real people or are they just statues around a statue? I've got questions. Oh. I probably shouldn't disturb them. Heard that some nuns spend their entire lives singing prayers. Prayers for God. Prayers for the world. For the sinners. No, sounds like it'd get boring after a while. It does. A little bit. <laughs> but, well, it's, it's for a good cause. Our order's sacred mission and all that. <laughs> Got caught. <laughs> oh, this music already is great. Shush, lower your voice. It's ill manners to disturb prayer. Hold on, I'm just gonna turn the music down a, s a smidge, if I may. If I may. I mean, this music is great, but it's just kind of blasting over... That's a... There we go. That might be a little bit better. Oh, sorry! 
Where the hell did she come from? Okay, just chill out, Holly. It's just a nun. <laughs> Is everything all right? You were talking to yourself. Hmm? Was I? I didn't notice. <laughs> it's all right. I do that too. <laughs> Sneaky nun. <laughs> this place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. I hope that this game does the same thing as the letter, where names for characters change as your perception of them changes. Like, I hope she's sneaky nun right now, and then later it's like, nice nun, or whatever. Um, yeah. I gotta say, this place, it's bigger than I expected. Oh yes, used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. Also, your hair is so bouncy, girl. <laughs> And here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? I'm here for the recollection? Oh, yes, yes, of course! Oh, you're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway, third room to the left. Probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. I see. Uh, thank you very much. And, um, sorry again for disturbing you. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> okay. <sighs> They're getting younger every year. Well, that's not creepy to say. Huh? Oh, nothing. It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yeah. Sure. Th thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Suspicious. I'm 15. I'm not that young. Right? Maybe it was that stupid little scream I made. Nice job, Holly. Looking real composed back there. Nice. I'll remember your name real easy, because our names rhyme. Holly and Molly, let's go. Man, this place is falling apart, though. Maybe the statues are breaking everything. <laughs> also, this room is a mess, too. Goodness gracious me. Is this the place? Huh? Whoa. Looks like someone's been trying to put it back together. Piece by piece. With varying success. Must have taken a lot of work. Though... Still doesn't look right. Careful, plaster still fresh on that one. Just one touch can bend the whole thing out of shape. Oh, hello. Our most venerable founder was particularly fond of this one. Saint Rita of Cassia. Are you familiar? Can't say I am. I mean, born 1381, died in 1457. Patron saint of lost and impossible causes. Um, yes, a bit. At the age of 12, she married into an abusive family. Regrettably, her two sons grew up to take after their father. Violent. Vengeful. And so, she prayed to God to save their souls. And so, God answered. They died of disease soon after. How does that save their souls? A harsh lesson, but an important one to take to heart. God works in mysterious ways. Even death can sometimes be a mercy. I don't know if that's an answer to a prayer, though. It's just like, don't they go straight to hell if they were terrible like that? I... I see. Oh, but enough of that. You've yet to introduce yourself. Uh, oh, hello there. I'm Holly Beltron. Oh, yes, Miss Holly. I've been expecting you, though I don't recall receiving you. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I knocked, but no one came. <laughs> came? And so you chose to trespass instead? Um... What? No, I didn't mean to. I was just... Give whatever name you want to your sin, Miss Holly. It is still a sin, nonetheless. Oof, all right, we're in for a rough one. <laughs> Your bags. Kindly lay them down. My bags? Oh, you'd be surprised the things that we find. Cigarettes, contraceptives, pornography. 
Can you imagine bringing such things into the house of God? Astounding. I'm surprised you'd bring contraceptives, of all things. The other ones, I can kind of see some people trying to sneak that in, but, hmm, to a nunnery, of all places? <laughs> That's horrible. What did you sneak in, Holly? The way you were like, oh, that's that's just awful. Who would do such a thing? What did you try to sneak in? <gasps> yeah, I knew it. I should have covered it. Also should have told those birds to calm down. They're still flying by the window too fast. Or at least kept it in a hidden pocket. See, there they go again. My goodness. Not that my bag has any. Mm, well, what do we have here? I knew it. Why'd I even bring that stupid thing? Kylie Taylor, the Sorceress of Witchwood. And the Sorceress of Witchwood. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best piece of literature to bring. Uh, that's just something I'm reading. But it looks super cute. Oh, yes. Well, it is always good to read. I myself simply love books. Books can enrich they can teach but when observing a work never forget to take spirituality into account especially when it comes to material written for young impressionable minds hmm. Hmm. and there it was cradled just beneath the canopy of elder trees candlelight pouring from the notched windows and the sound of laughter echoing from within this was her new home. It was here that she would learn magic. Is this supposed to be like a like symbolism for us, you know, coming here? But I assume we won't learn magic here. We'll learn horror instead. Magic. Such an innocent sounding word. <laughs> the finality of closing the book. But, dear child, there are no greys when it comes to witchcraft. All of it, black as sin. A proper child of God would know this. It's... All right. Calm down. You can do this. You've always been good at this. Uh, tell her what she wants to hear, or play dumb, Holly. It works all the time. Uh, I don't even know how you play dumb in this situation. Uh, tell her what she wants to hear? Maybe? You're absolutely right. Hmm? I noticed something was off as soon as I started reading it. I'm just doing it for research purposes on how magic can corrupt the minds of the young, you see. And still you kept it. Stubbornness on my part. I spent a good chunk of my allowance on it, so I was hoping I could return it. But even so, I really should be more mindful when it comes to these things. Hmm. <laughs> I realize I'm not making a very good first impression. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I guess I've been so excited that I've just been all over the place lately. Moving forward, I'll try my best to improve. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, improvement. There you go. That is one thing that we, the sisters of Saint Idolora, hold very dear. Okay, this seems to have worked on her. For Saint Rita's children, death was their only salvation. But for those willing to fix themselves, well, you'll find that this convent is the perfect place for spiritual rebirth. Here, you can be anyone you want to be. Anyone I want to be. Y yes, I understand. That... that sounds great. I'd like that. Well, now that we've settled that, let's start things off the right way. I am Sister Adira and I will be in charge of your spiritual formation for the next few weeks. Okay. It's very nice to meet you, Sister Adira. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And as for your book, I think it's best that I keep it. Oh, you want to read it too. But... But... She can't just take it. I mean... 
she kind of can, can't she? <laughs> I mean, like, we're here under her care, quote-unquote. Um, it was a dumb move on our part to bring it. <laughs> Especially not even trying to hide it. I... I feel we can probably snitch it back from her at some point. Just, like, watch where she puts it, and then we'll, like, we'll snitch it back before we go. I mean, if it was me, I would just let it go. I'll, I'll snitch it back later. Yeah. There's no use arguing. Better just let the whole thing go. Um, it's nothing. Never mind. Hmm. Miss Holly, I take it you're an avid reader? Yes, ma'am. Then that also means you enjoy writing, yes? Y yes I guess. I mean... I love reading. I hate writing. At least I didn't bring any of my fanfics. <laughs> Girl. Well, uh, good, good, good on you for at least foreseeing that calamity. She'd have a field day with those. Oh my. Wait here for just a moment. This should suit you just fine. It's the Holy Bible. Oh, no, it's a prayer journal. Pray with style for teens. There's prayers at the end of every page. A journal. Time has a funny way of muddling memory. It helps to have an anchor. That way we can always look back and see the old with new, fresh eyes. This next week will be integral to your spiritual formation. It would be best to keep a record of your thoughts. As we've discussed, not all stories are worth reading. But if you keep your heart open, there's definitely a story for you here. A story of your own personal journey with God. Can I trust you to do that? Yes, ma'am, and thank you. Sister Adira, please call me Sister Adira. For our time together, I'd like to think of us as family. Family. Like I needed more of that. Ooh, what's going on there, Holly? Now, come this way. I'll show you to your room. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, sister Adira. <laughs> Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Witchwood. Notes all over the margins. Letter on the first page. Pink ink, strawberry scent, limited edition cover, signed, wow, and I'm never seeing it again. God damn it. <sighs> Can you think that in a convent? Is that allowed? <laughs> it's fine, Holly. Relax. This is for the best. You're not here for that. You're here to be better. And also, we'll get it back at some point, girl, don't you worry. Hello, who's this cool chick? Oh, Gabriella. This is Holly. She will also be joining us for the recollection. Hey there. Just call me Gabby. Gabriella is your God-given name. It's a name you were born with. And I happen to think it's quite lovely. Be proud of it. Abbreviations tend to only confuse. Right. No nicknames allowed. That's news to me. And I hope it's news you take to heart. We do, after all, have rules here, Miss Gabriella. Dang. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> These two are going to be buttonheads the entire time. Oh boy, well, we're off to a good start. Okay. Just do what you do best, Holly. You know the drill. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Gabriella's a pretty cool name, though. Gabby's cooler, but Gabriella's also pretty cool. Whoa, what happened? Hello? Hello there. Pleased to meet you. My name's Holly, and for the record, I think Gabriella's a pretty cool name. Okay. I don't know why it rushed through there. Sorry about that. Had a classmate named Gabriella. Really smart. Ran for the student council. 
Though, now that I think about it, she might have lost. <laughs> it was close, though. <laughs> and this is relevant? Good to know. <laughs> so, um, are we the first ones to arrive? To think that I was worried I might have been late. As of now, Miss Holly, we are complete. The recollection will start first thing in... Wait, seriously? There's only two of us. Dang. Yes. Sadly, as of late, attendance has been quite low. I guess that's why this place is falling into disrepair, if it's only got like two people. Can't imagine why. <laughs> that look of wah. There she goes again. Is she for real? Like, real subtle, girl. <laughs> I think you know the answer, Gabriella. Holly casting the shade early. <sighs> Distractions. So many distractions we're letting into our lives. And even in these trying times, we still take for granted God's loving grace. You two, however, are very fortunate that your parents were responsible enough to take an active role in your formation. Yeah, sure. Um, that's true, Miss the Sister Adira. I believe these few weeks will be an enlightening experience for all of us. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, child. Recollections like these are a very special opportunity, and I hope that both of you will be wise enough to seize it. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> that face. Uh -huh. Jesus, say that a bit louder, why don't you? I will give you the rest of the day to settle in. We shall start first thing tomorrow. But until then, I urge you both to take in the silence this place has to offer. Reflect. Pray. She sure is... something. But maybe we just got up on the wrong foot? Like it or not, we're roommates now. I should probably say something to her. Though, it doesn't look like we have much in common. What's up? You're staring. Oh, sorry. I, I was just wondering. Okay, Holly, here goes. Just play it cool. Try asking her about the place. I mean, it sounds like she only just got here, too. She probably doesn't know much more than we do. Uh, she does have some cute bracelets, though. And she's cute, so there you go. Talk about that. <laughs> so, um, those are some cute bracelets you got there. Look, let's just cut to the chase. What are you here for, exactly? Friendship. Whoa, hold up there. Why is this sounding like prison talk? What are you in for? Excuse me? What do you mean? This isn't exactly a prime summer destination. Dingy convent up in the mountains, prayer sessions every other hour, Bible readings, character building lectures. Pretty sure they'll even have us do chores and stuff. Not chores. You don't really go here unless, you know, you're one of those types. So why are you here? Oh, I see. Well, I might not like it here, but I needed this. Time away from home, away from my parents. They worry. I mean, of course they worry after everything that's happened. I mean, true, it's not exactly my idea of fun. But once this is all done, I can come back to my mom with a big smile on my face. Tell her that I'm better. Tell her that everything's okay. I'll go back to being the perfect little angel she expects me to be. Hmm. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, hello? You okay? I like that she called us out for having this long thought process in our head. That's a little different from the letter, where a character like thinks about things for hours and then comes back to the conversation. Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, I... Never mind, it's fine. You don't have to answer. No, no! You see, um... It's not something I want to talk about. I should probably say that. But... Does that come off as rude? 
I feel she'd be able to smell the BS if we like made something up. I mean, you can just tell her, just tell her you don't want to talk about it. Like there is a reason, but I I can't. I don't want to talk about it right now. No, that's stupid. Where would I even begin? What? Girl, I told you to say the truth. Don't don't you do this. Don't you take away my control? Already? We're not even in a half an hour yet. I should just make something up. I see. Well, in that case, I don't think we have much to talk about. Interesting. Okay, so there might be choices sometimes where it's like an illusion of choice, but the character's like, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Wait, what? Let me spell it out for you. Sorry, Gabby. I tried to help her tell her the tell tell you the truth. I don't want to be here. And if you're thinking that by the end of this we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and I don't know having Bible study sessions together or whatever, <sighs> you're mistaken. Oh, all right. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but these two give me strong Max and Chloe vibes already. <laughs> Glad we got that out of the way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got stuff to unpack. Okay. <laughs> that look. The hell is her deal? I was trying to compliment her bracelets and things, and this is the thanks I get. I'm just trying to make things work. Is that too much to ask? Well, I guess this is my bed for the next few days. I should start unpacking, too. Hmm. That looks good. Lots of cracks everywhere. Probably symbolism for something at some point. Not the nicest looking place, but maybe if I fix it up a bit. Ah, yes. Just get a sheet. Take a sheet from the ghost. Put that on there. Get a picture. Looking better already. There we go. Looking better already. A little corner to call my own. It's been a while since I've shared a room with someone. It's been even longer since I've slept in a room that wasn't my own. It all feels so familiar. Mm. Maybe a bit too familiar. Oh, put the picture down. I was trying to tell if that was like her and her sister or her and her best friend or something. Yeah, I think that's better for now. Hmm, what else do I have here? A story of my own, huh? Hopes and wishes, huh? <laughs> I really wish I had my book. Would be nice, getting lost in the pages. I wonder if we had tried to fight Adira on taking the book, if Holly would have been like, no, there's no point, you know, she's just gonna take it anyway, and then it would have been the, the option I picked in the end. Hmm, curious. The turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get to the mysterious world of Witchwood. <laughs> um, this is a Wendy's, Holly. <laughs> um, I mean, both of these are kind of the same. This won't do it all. I'm supposed to be talking to God. Focus, Holly. Good rip. To my dearest Heavenly Father. Well, here I am. I wonder what we'll be up to tomorrow. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be with me every step of the way. We started off a bit rough, but I'm optimistic for the wonderful journey ahead. Amen. Good night. Good night. Oh. Your new home achievement. I guess we're settled. Well, that's not a good sound. Hello? Psst. Hey, Holly. Liana? Huh? Liana? What are you doing? Uh, I... I can't sleep. That's not my problem. <laughs> Rude. I can fix that. Behold my special move! <laughs> well, hello. Whoa! Liana! I think that was the girl in the picture. 
Okay, okay, I'm up. I'm gonna guess sister. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Also gonna guess flashback. Ugh, Yana. <laughs> huh? What's that you got there? Just a book. Wanna see it? Oh, wow. I don't remember mom buying this. Huh? <laughs> she didn't. No one lent it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that's where the book came from. See? Her name's Kylie. She's strong and brave. Just like someone else I know. Huh? You really think so? Nah, just trying to get on your good side. I thought Liana was gonna say, yeah, she reminds me exactly of myself. Isn't that crazy? Right. <laughs> oh, oh, but here's the coolest part. She's... She's a witch. <laughs> oh. What? Liana, you know how mom gets... Remember what happened when you brought home that toy devil -y? <laughs> Sorry for cutting off your laugh, Liana. Dragon. It was a dragon. It's not my fault mom wasn't listening. And she's still not going to listen if she finds something like this. Look, Liana. You need to stop getting yourself in trouble. Don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. But... <sighs> just give it back as soon as you can. Well... About that, you see, I was, um, thinking maybe we could read it together. Oh, that's so sweet. Just like how we used to. Really? Y yeah, but if you don't want to... No, it's... Okay, sure, we can read it. But only because the cover looks cool. <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. The Whispering Forest. The sky was a muddy brown. As brown and muddy as the grounds around St. Mary's Orphanage. Despite this, Kylie was determined to give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Oh, Kylie has a sister? I is that her picture? Uh, I like her. She's mine. I'm doing her voice. <laughs> Excellent. You don't even know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling. Uh oh. Mom, Holly, hide the book. Shh, quiet. Just stay still. Holy mackerel! Your mom is super loud. <laughs> The heavy breathing. <laughs> Just look natural, girl. Just look natural. <laughs> That's a terrifying noise. <laughs> oh no, it's it's statue time, isn't it? Can't move. Oh no, sleep paralysis. Oh no. I... I can't move. It's okay. This is fine. I'm just stuck. In between sleeping and waking up. Just breathe, Holly. Breathe. <gasps> breathe more. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. That sound. Relax. Just... singing. Just prayers. Sounds kind of nice, right? In a demonic sort of way, like a lullaby. Just, uh, what was that knock on the window? Close your eyes and go back to sleep, Holly. Just relax. <laughs> You're just hearing things. was humming. Hello? I mean, that sounds like the song that we just heard at the end there. But it didn't sound like a Dara humming it at the time. Well, I assume we lived through the night. 
Is this Adira's point of view? Out of curiosity? There it is. The first rays of morning light. Breathe deep. Take it in. Another day. Another brilliant gift from God. Another opportunity to serve. Hmm. I'm quite pleased with it. Though... It still wouldn't be enough for her. Yeah, we're definitely from Adira's perspective. Okay. So she's the one working on all these statues. Or at least one of the people working on these statues. Cracks still need to be filled. Blemishes need to be sanded. And, of course, a new coat of paint. But for now, well, there are more important matters. I must not be distracted. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, you visited me in your dreams last night. Don't worry, I remember. In my hands you put a chisel, in the other the Holy Bible, their use perfectly clear. Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on these sacred grounds. It has been a while. I am a bit nervous. I only ask that you give me the strength. The strength to be a worthy mentor in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. And may your hands guide mine as I form these young girls to be the women you want them to be. Amen. <laughs> I mean, that's a nice tune. Best get ready. We've got a busy day ahead of us, after all. Okay, so this is a bit different from the letter in that it's not broken up into chapters in different characters' perspectives. We're just going to kind of jump jump around. Okay. Liana? Holly, you made huh? it. Who? Huh? Say what now? Oh, um, sorry. It's nothing. You've got 30 minutes. Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be late now, would we? Yeah, sure. No white walls, no flower curtains, no mom, no Liana. And the statues don't look as cracked today. You're not home. Get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. You've got this. Remember, no distractions. Lovely morning, Sister Adira. Hmm. Why, yes. A lovely morning indeed. I just noticed that um, Sister Adira's got a cute little bracelet, too. If you were here just a bit earlier, you would have caught the sun shining right through that window. Amazing, the little things you notice when you take the time to stop and listen. And that's why we're here, isn't it? <sighs> yep, sure is. <laughs> <clears throat> Fifty years ago... Our founder, Saint Idolora, built this convent in order to train young girls such as yourselves to be proper ladies. Ladies worthy of becoming saints. During her time, the most beautiful flowers bloomed all over the convent. Oh, and the statues! With her skilled hands, in the right light, they'd look so real. Then, of course... The girls, like scared little lambs, they arrived, sick and broken. But Mother Idolora, oh, she healed them. She fixed them. They all emerged as lovely little angels. Uh-huh. Lovely little angels. Mom would call us that all the time, in front of her friends. In the coming days, I'd like you to think of me as a mother. Not to your face, but uh, to her friends. Whether it be concern or confession, you may come to me. 
Yeah, I'll consider it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. That's a very kind gesture. Now, before we start, here's a quick schedule of the recollection. Huh? Um, woman's recollection schedule. Opening remarks. Facing sin, moving past our shortcomings, rosary and prayer, finding Mary amidst the chaos of current times, defining women, embracing the natural role, rosary and prayer, confession, covering the cracks, the road to saintly perfection. Well, that's a little on the nose, isn't it? They're all led by her? Are you the only person? No, you're not the only person here. We ran into that other nun. Is she too young to do any of this, or...? It's all just her. Um, yes? Any questions? <laughs> Why is it all just you? None! This all looks really exciting. It is. Most of your time will consist of silent recollection and prayer sessions. But, as I've said before, aside from reflection, we shall also task you with action. What type of action are we talking about? <laughs> what type of action? Like a hammer to glass. Whew. Simple tasks. Cooking, cleaning. This convent doesn't maintain itself, you know. And I expect you to attend to it with the utmost care. This is a holy place, after all. Newly inducted nuns have done similar things in the past. If any of you find yourself hearing the call, well, think of this as a great training opportunity. No promises. You could have just nodded your head. I expect none. But you may be surprised. The call finds us at the strangest of times, in the strangest of places. Now, to start off, let's have a bit of an exercise now, shall we? I'd like to show you something. Ah, lovely, isn't she? Wholesome, pure, chaste. The face of a saint if I ever saw one. She has no face. There's no second guessing, no desperate search for her place in the world. She is content to know that she is exactly where God wants her to be. However, sadly, this is not always the case. The world is moving so fast these days. People coming up with all sorts of answers to their problems. So many opportunities are now open to bright young women such as yourselves. You can be anything. Scientists, lawyers, businesswomen, physicians, even artists. And they're all wrapped up so nicely in narratives of fulfillment and prestige. And at times they can sound so appealing. But us women... We should not let ourselves get distracted from what really matters. Having babies and being good wives. God and family. Close enough. Polly, please come over here. Yeah, sure. Now, I want you to write down all the things that might be stopping you from being a proper child of God. I'm going to need more paper. Well, this should be easy. Time to put all those Christian life education classes to good use. Hmm, the original sin? She'd like that or she'd love that. Ah, but there's so many temptations in modern society like witch books. Well, the way I see it, with all the progress we've made as a society, we failed to take our faith into consideration. As such, we're surrounded by so many distractions that tempt us Yes, yes. It's quite clear that you've been paying attention, Miss Beltran. But we're here to talk about you. Oh, no, don't talk about me. What are the things that hinder you from becoming a child of God? Me? There's... There's nothing. I'm perfectly fine. All that stuff last year? I'm already over it. What happened last year, girl? Um... Well... Did you and your sister start a coven last year? What happened? What's the stuff that mom always complains about? Maybe talk about those? Um... I think... I don't know why. Reproductive health is like the funniest one to me. 
Well, there's all the stuff about reproductive... <laughs> Miss Beltran, I recall confiscating a particular book from you the other day. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, that. Of course she'd bring that up. Well, that stuff... It really isn't a big deal or anything. I'm sure there are other things. Oftentimes, I find it best that we start with the small things. But if you want... Perhaps we can talk about other things. Your family life, perhaps? No. My family life. Okay, I'm doing this as a test. I'm gonna say maybe you should, but I feel like she's gonna be like, no, that's dumb. I'm not gonna talk about that. I... <laughs> no. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about family life, no, no. Is everything all right, Holly? I don't know. She keeps resisting my choices. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's stick to the small things. Hmm. Kylie Taylor. J just Kylie Taylor. Not witches, not witchcraft, just that particular thing. Good. I'd also urge you to examine any other pieces of literature that you might be reading. There is a special place in hell for people who lure children to sin, and all in the guise of fanciful tales and happy endings. Hell. It's always hell, isn't it? I just want to read my stories. Jeez, chill out. It's just a book. Gabby stood up for me. Just a book? So is the Bible. And yet, such a book has built cathedrals, formed nations, saved souls. In the wrong hands, don't you think the opposite is also possible? Look, I really don't see the problem here. Kylie's a good witch. Kindness and friendship are what end up saving the day. Oh, she's a fan. In the end, that's all that matters, right? Just what is she doing? This... this isn't an argument you're going to win. You're simplifying the matter, Gabriella. These things, these stories... I know it all must seem harmless at first. It's all just make-believe after all. Brightly colored spells and magical creatures. They make it so easy to get caught up in the... the fantasy. But understand... These are all subtle seductions. They distract. And that, at its core, these spells and rituals and familiars, it all leads back to the occult. We've all strayed so far. In the Old Testament, people like Kylie would have been stoned to death. <laughs> the silence. Miss Rivera. Why don't you give this activity a try? Can't think of anything. Is that so? Do you think your life is perfect, Miss Rivera? No, of course not. We're all far from perfect here. But my mind's just drawing blanks right now. Then perhaps I can be of help. Uh oh. More often than not, I find that the biggest obstacle young girls like you often face lies in the environment you place yourself in. I see. Hmm. Let's reflect on your friends. Have they been a positive influence? Yeah, they have. Helped me through pretty tough times. Your mother has told me a different story. Really, no. Yes. Sneaking out to these social gatherings. Coming home late at night. Surrounding yourself with the wrong sort of people. The wrong sort? Please understand. It's not entirely your fault. I was young once. I know how it's like. We're at a very sensitive age. And it's at this time that young girls are met with a whole new world of temptations. Yeah, whatever. Look, just drop it. It is easy to mistake desire for love. But true love, 
True love can only occur between a chaste man and a chaste woman. All right. Stop. Yeah, I mean, what were you into? What's going? What's your story? Now I'm curious. Gabriella, running away will only serve to worsen your struggle. So was she involved with somebody? I'm trying to read into the emphasis on Adira's part. I get the feeling Gabby likes ladies. Am I crazy? Just the way she was like chased man and chased woman. Like, did she have a crush on a girl? Is that why she was sent here? Mm. If you would simply be honest. Shut up! Oh, pushed too far. Ooh. Only you can help yourself, Miss Rivera. I am merely a witness. The scars you have are far worse. You can't see them. But they dig deep. Deep at your soul. Miss Beltran, I would like your opinion. Oh, don't bring me into this. Have I done something wrong? Do I upset you? <gasps> Why me? Oh, great. I should just say something. Anything to just stop this. If I say Adira doesn't have to be so pushy, there's no way she's going to say that. I mean, there's stuff to be upset about, but... Just like all those times before, I just need everyone to calm down, that's all. The way I see it, there's nothing to be upset about. It's just a simple misunderstanding. Right, Gabriella? That's not working. Oh, I know. Just change the topic. That sometimes works. You can do this, Holly. Uh, I, I just thought of another thing to write down. TV, it distracts me all the time. My grades aren't as high as they could be, but if I just cut down on my TV time, I know I can focus. Hmm. It takes real courage to improve yourself. And right now, Miss Holly here is being very brave. Oh, Gabby's gonna love us even more. And I know you can be brave as well, Gabriella. <laughs> Squint. Whatever. I'm done here. Some loud stomping. You're almost as loud as my mom. Miss Beltran, I'd like you to open your prayer book, page 32, Psalm 103, verse 10. Please say a prayer for Miss Gabriella, that she will allow herself to be healed by God's loving grace. Afterwards, you may have a short break. We'll start again once I ring the bell. Yes, sister. Well, here we go again. Was a little bit of peace too much to ask for? I guess it was. Wah. Oh. Well, with that sudden move, I think I'm going to stop there for today, guys. I, uh, this is interesting so far. I like the characters. We've already had a little, a wee tiny bit of horror. Um, there's a lot of trauma. I'm sens sensing a lot of trauma going on so far. Lots of symbolism being involved with cracks and, you know, smoothing that over and things. So I'm intrigued. Definitely intrigued so far. I'm looking forward to playing more and Seeing where the story goes from here, uncovering truths, picking at those old wounds and things should be fun. Fun's probably not the right word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Until next time, I will see you later.